In this video, I'm going to discuss some of the recurring concerns within the industry today, specifically in the sterile manufacturing sector. I'll explain how these issues impact the industry in terms of cost, drug availability, and of course, product quality and patient safety. Here are the five key areas for concern. How do I assure the quality attributes of sterile products whilst minimizing cost? How do I keep training programs fresh and engaging? How do I make sure environmental monitoring gives a return on investment? How do I minimize the risks from foreign body contamination? And finally, how can I be sure quality assurance is in place 24 seven? So let's look at each of the five questions in turn. The specific quality attributes expected for a sterile pharmaceutical product may seem obvious, yet they're often overlooked. These would include the absence of microorganisms, endotoxins and foreign bodies, contain a closure integrity, production using CGMP, correct labeling and packaging, stability across shelf life, and accurate potency, formulation and isotonicity. How can I build these attributes into the product? Firstly, focus all of your qualification and validation activities on assuring each attribute by using good design proportionate laser focus validation studies and an ongoing monitoring program that is devised using a risk-based approach. Keep ICHQ9 close at hand and only spend your finite resources on what is truly important. Focus your batch records so that they're crystal clear, unambiguous and easy to follow. Be assertive in removing anything that doesn't contribute to doing things right first time. Allow your staff to see at a glance what is important in each and every process they perform. Because if it doesn't add to the assurance of these attributes, it is waste. And of course, the best firms always wage war on waste. A great example of this in action was a recent NSF project that led to a 35% reduction in the number of pages required in a client's batch record, leading to a massive reduction in entry errors and GMP nonconformances. Simplicity and focus are key. So what about your refresher training? For sterile processing, it is crucial your staff are technically and professionally trained and your education programs focus on aseptic behaviors and a quality mindset. We live by this proverb by Confucius. I hear, I forget. I see, I remember. I do, I understand. So be creative. Keep your staff engaged by giving them the know why, not just the know how. Our training is interactive, challenging and full of technical and practical content, always seeking a practical return on investment. Clean room environmental monitoring can be costly. It adds risk to your clean room and can be difficult to interpret. Whilst knowing the key reference books and guidelines is helpful, there can never be a substitute for focused time with experts who have lived in your shoes. We use a proven approach that optimizes your environmental monitoring program so that what once looked like random data now looks like organized information. Information that you can use to assess the sterility assurance of your products. Our sterile microbiology experts can help you to meet the CGMP expectations, keep your quality and manufacturing units informed and prevent your finance director weeping at the cost of the environmental monitoring program. Contamination from foreign bodies such as glass, hair and particles remains a major concern for sterile manufacturers. In fact, in 2014 in the US alone, two to three recalls per month were attributed to this major quality defect. We are actively working with clients to reduce the incidence of foreign body contamination through prevention and inspection programs. For example, in 2015, we helped find the root cause that was driving a 9% reject rate due to glass particles in a terminally sterilized glass ample formulation. Using a practical yet data-driven approach, we took the time to get to know the problem and we were able to reduce the reject rate to less than 2%, saving the client over 4,000 euros per batch or 180,000 euros per year. We will work right alongside you in the office, on the site, in the laboratory, and in the clean room. 
Another major concern is how to know if aseptic behaviours are being maintained exactly as they were trained, especially at two o'clock in the morning or at weekends or whenever staff work unobserved or unsupervised. Reliable and flawless execution of key processes is needed when manufacturing sterile products. Yet studies show that at least 60% of GMP deviations will occur due to poor staff decision making or unacceptable variation in the way a job is done. Remember, when the end product is injected and therefore bypasses the body's normal defense mechanisms, any deviations from key processes can be potentially fatal to the end user. At NSF, we live by two key strategies. Firstly, educate staff in the know-how and the know-why so that the right decision-making and aseptic behaviours are ingrained, natural and assured. And secondly, use Gemba, which is Japanese for real place, and use the three principles of Gemba, go see, ask why and show respect. So given these concerns and the range of other risks associated with sterile processing, when you foresee improvements or when an improvement becomes known to you via client or regulatory GMP inspections, call us at NSF Pharma Biotech. Our expertise can help you to make quality assurance more effective and more predictable whilst reducing the risk of costly recalls, reprocessing, drug shortages and regulatory action. We can help you to improve your company performance, meet the GMP expectations from clients and regulators, and ensure product attributes are assured. We can be summed up as the right people, the right solution, the first time.